Welcome back to the third pitch, guys. Third pitch. So the FIFA World Cup is right around the corner, and um, we decided to all sit down and make a prediction about who's going to win the World Cup. Let's get into it. Let's get right into the video, guys. Let's do it. All right. So starting off, we're going to start off with Group A. Group A. Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and Netherlands. What do you guys think about this group? I think it's an uh, interesting group. Do you want to go first, Brian? I think it's pretty It's pretty light. Um, yeah, it's light for the good teams. It's, yeah, it's light for <laughs> Netherlands. Um, I know I originally was going to say Netherlands and Senegal were going to go through uh, with Netherlands being first place and Senegal mm. being second, but... I think Sadio Mane is injured, right? He's back, bro. He's, He's gonna back. play. He's gonna play. He's gonna oh, play. He He's even... gonna play. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I so, saw it on yeah. Twitter. I don't know if it was wrong, but they said he's gonna play. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, I think it's gonna be a fun group. Ecuador obviously have a good team, and nobody really talks about Qatar. And I think <laughs> honestly, for like, not good reason. I, I don't want to disrespect them and their players, but just coming up against those teams, Ecuador, Senegal, the Netherlands, like those are solid countries who have really solid squads and. You know, it's going to be hard for a team like Qatar, who has no major tournament experience, to go up against these giants and t- try to take points off them. I just don't see it. Yep, honestly, yeah. um, I agree with you. Agree with everything there. Um, like you said, Qatar has has no history with any sort of like achieve or any sort of achievement in soccer, so I doubt that they're going to get uh, far. Um, Ecuador might. I think Ecuador might pull through. Solid team. I feel like they might surprise they could they definitely have the ability to do so but uh, i'm still sticking with netherlands first senegal second senegal yeah. uh, i have to agree with you i think netherlands first um i think senegal could shock but i mean the netherlands man like they're just they're so tough i mean contradicting what i said before like they, they weren't convincing but i think now is the time. It's time to show up. I think. I think they they, they have the talent to do it. So yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to go Netherlands first, Senegal second. All right, all right, that's good. Let's go to Group B now: England, Iran, United States, and Wales. It's this is an group. interesting group. This is a very interesting group. It's a fun one. I like it. I'm excited for this group. Um, uh, the, obviously the England USA matchup. Oh, we gotta watch that one. That that's we gonna be to that's gonna that be great. One. Yeah, not really too much to say about this group i think most people well i mean there is to be to be honest because england have struggled a lot man and the, i think their last six qualifying games they didn't win a single game they barely scored they they drew three three with germany um, yeah yeah they had a rough uh, qualification process it was good at first though they were putting yeah. away teams comfortably but the last the last few weeks of their their qualifiers were pretty terrible to be honest um yeah, and I think I think I think England has it in the bag for sure for first place. I think England's yeah. first, and I say United States is second. I don't think there's anything else we can say because Iran, Iran have a solid as team, like a lower as like a lower. I don't want to say quality team because obviously lower ranked, these, lower ranked yeah. team. Yeah. yeah, going going up against an England, you have to play that because yeah, having true. having Sterling and um, pacey forwards. Yeah, Sterling Foden, Sterling Foden. Um, Who's the guy? Madison. Madison. Yeah, made Madison it, made it coaching into the squad. But... He's he's really good. Oh, Saka. Having Sterling and Saka. Oh yeah. Running. Oh, that's that's dangerous. So, of course they are gonna they are gonna sit back, and I wouldn't blame them for doing that. But yeah, I think that will, like, do they have the quality to like, really take it to an England or even a United States? I don't know. I yeah. don't really see them getting past those yeah, two I teams. Yeah, I don't. I don't see that at all. Despite I think, despite the, the the U.S.'s struggles as well. I'm, I'm actually excited for the U.S. this year. Yeah, the two guys from Leeds are solid. I mean, listen, the United States have a solid team. Um, I can't say I watch too much of them because again, I'm not really the crazy into the U.S. Well, yeah. let's see. Let, let's bring the rivalry back, baby. Bring the rivalry back. It, it's going to it be back. fun. I can't wait to see the memes. I feel like there's going to be a lot of memes about that, like about USA, yeah. like when, like around USA the time the game starts. Soccer versus football? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably it's called so. soccer now. Yeah, uh, honestly, I really hope it, USA win. Like, again, like like we said, we're not we're not, we're not not crazy US, U.S. men's national team supporters, but, I mean, seeing England get beat is always it's always fantastic so yeah i just love to see I that i agree i don't like england so <laughs> I, I, i'm an england boy so he's, I, he's I, a big I, I england fan england. i don't know so i don't know i'll be back in england nah. all right so what are, so, right, so, so what are we saying that. final final take so i'm saying england first united states second yeah i agree i agree with that yeah i think i think that's gonna be the uh the obvious choice and i'll have to go with that as well 
All right. All right. Next up, Brian's group. Group C. C. Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. What do you think, Brian? Uh, straight off the bat, Argentina's winning the group. <laughs> yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. Honestly, um, it's either, damn, I don't know, for second place. I feel like Poland could low-key surprise, like as much as I hate to say it. Mm, so I it, agree. It, it might be like a tough competition between Mexico and Poland. Yeah. Because Mexico hasn't been winning games like decisively. Yeah, Mexico hasn't hasn't been like against good teams. They haven't. Yeah, and yes. um, and if we're coming up against the Lewandowski, Lewandowski, then oof, yeah. you know that's that's going to be tough. Our defense has to be unlocked. But you know, if if Mexico can play a good counter, uh, I feel like they'll end second on the group. Um, but Argentina definitely has that unlock. Yeah, man. I just I think that the Argentina. I think that. All the Argentine players, I think they all recognize that this is Messi. Like, obviously, they know it's Messi's last World Cup. He's told them that. I think that these guys are just going to be absolutely, I mean, as if you wouldn't be on and ready for a World Cup, knowing that your country's best player ever, the best player in history, is having his last World Cup and he's playing well and you guys have a genuine chance to win the World Cup. These guys are going to be added 100%. Um, so yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, they're finishing first in the group. It, this group is really who's finishing second. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, Saudi Arabia, it's pretty <laughs> much everyone knows. I, I, I w- wish them the best, but they just don't really have the quality. And just in case anyone was wondering, while we're looking at the, t- at the well, past the cameras, a TV there, we got the the nice the nice bracket. Yeah, I think I think it'll be interesting to see Mexico versus Poland. I think that's going to be the decisive game. Like that Mexico versus Poland game, I think that will be the decider of who finishes second. Yeah. Whoever yeah. can win that game um will will most likely finish second and then if it ends in a draw, who can pick up points against Saudi Arabia cuz I really don't I think Argentina could seriously go unbeaten in the group like maybe even easily. 100%, yeah. So we're saying it's unfortunate because Mexico has always had like a yeah. very strong team, and I feel like this is the first World Cup that I see that doesn't really inspire. Like I don't, I don't see a real confident Mexican team. Yeah. That that's not to say that they won't make it. I I think they they'll still finish second, but it's not gonna be like other World Cups where it was like, oh, they're they'll definitely finish second or they'll definitely yeah. finish first. Uh, like you said, I think uh, like both of you said, I think it's definitely gonna be a battle for Mexico to finish second because Poland, while Poland, I don't think Poland is good either. Yeah, they don't have the best team. Yeah, but, um, but like 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 Brian said, Lewandowski is just yeah, Lewandowski is mean, crazy. I, yeah, but I th- I think that like our savior is gonna be um Edson Alvarez. Yeah, Alvarez, Alvarez. Alvarez. Alvarez is nice. Alvarez yeah. is really nice. I think he's gonna be our our savior. Like we make or break with him, you know? <laughs> yeah, because Mexico tends to rely on like a a pretty a like player. heavy. No, yeah. no, they, they they rely on like a heavy um. Liga and Mekis, like, mm. back line. So their defense okay. is just primarily that. You know? Yeah, yeah. So he's, like, one of the main ones that plays in Europe. So. And you guys have, um, damn, what's his name? He plays for Napoli. Lozano. 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 Yeah, he's good. Lozano's solid. Yeah, he is. He, he can cause problems. He hasn't been getting that much um, playing, playing time, time, I think, in Napoli. Yeah, um, Yeah, he's been, yeah. I think he's on his way out. But, yeah. I mean, we'll have to see. All right, so for Group C, what's the final <laughs> verdict? I'm gonna go with uh, Argentina, Mexico to to speak it into reality for, for my friend Brian. <laughs> so let's go Mexico. All right, I, I agree with that. I agree yeah. With that, yeah. All right. Yeah. Same thing. I I agree with that. Argentina first, Mexico second. Nice. Group D. All right. Group D. France, Australia, Denmark, and Tunisia. Interesting group, man. I don't know too much about Tun- Tunisia or Australia, but. I mean, obviously, everyone's seen France, uh, France's squad. They're not as solid as... Um, Bro, they have the same... I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Literally the same... Two of the same countries in their group. Denmark and Australia. Oh, wow. That's crazy. 2018. Yeah, that's the only one Peru. that's different is Peru. Yeah, and they, so... They tied, and they so tied how, against how, Denmark how and France. They finish? How did they finish last time? Uh, well, tied they beat again. Australia 2-1, and then they tied against Denmark 0-0. No one scored. That's crazy. So, yeah, I think... I mean, Denmark is definitely... A team, a team. You should don't ever sleep on Denmark. Yeah. Denmark is a team that will definitely surprise you. Will play really good, really tough um, tactical games that will tire other teams out. You, so you don't always you don't expect them to win as much as they do. They had a good year run. 
Oh yeah, and yeah. The Euros, yeah. And the Euros, yeah, they, they made it pretty far. So, yeah, um, this group, um, I don't really think Australia has a chance. No. Um, neither does Tunisia. Um, France, I think, is definitely getting out of this group. I think the World Cup curse is ending with this uh, this year because yeah. What's the curse? Is that they always crash out when like. The um, winner always yeah. gets knocked out in the group stage. And the next one. Ever since 2014, yeah. pretty much. No, no, ever since 2006. Because 2006, Italy won. Then in 2010, no, they, but, no, they, but they got eliminated in the group stage. In the group stage? Yeah. Oh, for real. 2010, Spain won. I thought it was just Spain. <laughs> in 2014, they got eliminated in the group stage. All right. Wow. Flashbacks. Yeah. And then and then, in, and then in 2014, uh, Germany. Germany won. And then in 2018, they got eliminated in the group stage. That's crazy, so, France man. can break it? I think France is going to break because uh, I, I think there's it. no way in hell Australia can finish or uh, Australia, Australia or Tunisia can Denmark. finish above France. Oh, yeah. Tunisia. Denmark can maybe finish above France. I think I think yeah, Denmark if Denmark gets their stuff together, I think, honestly, Denmark can finish first and France can finish second. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, I think, like I said, I think, you know what I'm going to say? I think I'm going to say Denmark finishes first, France finishes second. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm, that I'm not, I'm not. I'm not upset with that, to be honest. I think obviously, like most other people, and I'm sure you're probably gonna say the same thing, Brian. I'm gonna go France first and Denmark second. Yeah, I'm gonna say France first, Denmark um, second. Just because I could, I could see France just being able to get those wins over Australia and Tunisia, where maybe, you know, you could see possibly like a Tunisia maybe giving Denmark a game. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me saying stuff just to say it. But. I think Australia is going to be the one that surprises a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, listen, the World Cup, anything that happened, you guys remember Costa Rica. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, shit, I mean, you could see, like, you could see any of these teams yeah. um, make it far. So, yeah, uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Brian. Do you agree with that? France first. France first, Denmark, Denmark second. second. Yeah. All right. I wrote that down. All right. All right, nice. Moving so on to the next group. group. D. <laughs> No group, no group E. Group E. Group e. Group e yeah. We got Spain, Gabriel's, my man's um, country right here. <laughs> we got Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan. This is a this oh is oh boy. This this would be excited. this is the group of death. This is a group of death. But we 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 we, we have some solid groups. But this is this is this is obviously this is a tough group. It's a tough and group. As someone from Spain, I'm nervous. I'm okay. very nervous because not because we don't have talent. Talent because we do. I think we do. I believe in. Our players. I believe in Pedri. I believe in Gavi. Believe in Ansu Fati. Even though he's been, you know, played with injuries and yeah. and then surgeries and stuff, and he hasn't been on his top form uh, lately. Um, I still believe in him. Player, yeah. I, yeah, I still think he's an incredible player. Um, it's not the most convincing Spain team, I'll admit, but yeah. I think I think we can pull through. Um, I just hope Costa Rica doesn't do a 2014 again, because <laughs> yeah. because that would suck. Uh, but yeah, um, Germany is incredible as always. Germany always has. Uh, They're missing a uh, Werner though, who even though Werner, um, Royce, Royce is Royce not going to make it. Like like usual, um, man. That's uh, wait, let me. Get this I heard um, God say. Gotze is in the squad. Oh yeah, Gotze. Gotze is back in the that squad. was a surprise. Yeah, because, yeah. Like I was like, wow. He... They probably just put him in from from morale. Be like, yo yeah. guys, we did it for man. Let's do it again. No, no, but like I I saw I saw a video that was mentioning that um it was about the 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 team for Germany. Yeah. And a lot of the people were saying like, oh yeah, like they probably just put him in just because he scored that. Yeah. The World Cup winner, right? <laughs> probably. Like, we'll get to I that. Mean, I haven't I haven't like done it like proper research about yeah, it yeah, yeah. but from other comments that i saw they said that he was actually playing really well um, okay, i think he's in frankfurt? in frankfurt yeah, yeah frankfurt. i heard that he was playing actually like pretty he good he retired so. for like two two years or something like, that. like he stopped playing for like two years because i think like um did i think he did like an interview or something where he was like explaining how like it was like a lot of pressure after he won the yeah, world yeah, cup yeah. but he had a lot he had a lot of like a lot of buzz around his name yeah right? around his name yeah. and shit and he couldn't he couldn't handle the pressure but uh but germany definitely have a solid squad um it's definitely i'm definitely uh, I don't know. Like, I want to. I mean, of course, there's bias here. I want to say Spain is going to finish first and Germany second. Um, I think I'm going to stick with that because I think even though I'll admit, like I said earlier, I I know Spain has, doesn't have the strongest squad. I think they can still pull through um, with Germany. I mean, we have basically the same squad um, as we did in 2020. Like with some different with some differences, and we beat Germany six one. Now, granted, it was a, a Nations League game, 
but we still beat them 6-1. Yeah. So I think, uh. and like I said, with most of the same players we have, and yeah. Germany also has most of the same players as well. So I'm not saying we're going to win 6-1 against Germany, but, or was it 6-0? I forgot. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Point is, I don't, I don't think we're going to win 6-0 or 6-1, but I think we can definitely pull through with Germany. Uh, so I'm going to say Spain first, Germany second. Yeah, and we saw, it real quick, we saw, I'll mention again, the um, Germany's game against England. They let, they let out three goals. You know, and that, I think that was their last game before this World Cup, their last official game uh, in, in qualifiers. or I, I can't remember where, but regardless, Germany is susceptible to... Um, to let some goals in, so yeah, honestly, I I think I might have to go with you on this one, man. Spain, Spain first. I think Germany. I think most people would 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 say would say Germany first, yeah, Spain I'm, second. I'm saying Germany first, um, just because I feel like it's the World Cup, and I feel like they're gonna bring their A game. Yeah, they got embarrassed the last World Cup. I don't think they want to do that again, yeah. especially to like a Spain squad that's just starting to rebuild itself, which yeah. I like. Like, I, like you said, you know, I like it a lot. I, I think they have a lot of potential, but I think that the German team is just way more mature. And, like, I feel like they just, they, they know the stage better than right. Spain does, you know? Like, yeah, these, they're, they're players. these players are coming in from Spain with, like, a lot of nerves. Right. Yeah, and these German players, like, yeah, they've yeah. seen this stage, like, been there, many times, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. they've, they've come, they've performed. I feel like they're going to do it. And, you know, unless Spain shows a little more heart, I feel like... It's just gonna be Germany first, Spain second. Okay. All right, that's fair. Yeah, I Germany. Think I'm gonna... No, I agree with you. You're right because, <laughs> like, like with Spain, like, like you said, coming in with nerves. Like, I, this is Pedri's first World Cup, exactly, Gavi's yeah. first World Cup, Ansu Fati's first mm -hmm. World Cup, Ferran Torres' first World Cup. And these are like, young players. These are yeah, these yeah. are all very young players, yeah. early twenties, uh, late teens. So they're basically teen. I mean, hey. Mbappe won the World Cup at 18, but that's Mbappe. But he came, but he came with a full, no, like, yeah, he came with mature a team, bro. They, they had a team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd be throwing up if I was in the Spain squad. Yeah, <laughs> like, right before the game. Man. Yeah. Oh, well, we didn't really speak about Costa Rica, Costa Rica and Japan, Rica. but, I mean, Japan always puts up a good fight. Japan's a really good, I've, good yeah. squad. I've heard, though, that Japan's but, team is, isn't as good as previous years. No, definitely not. Like, um, if, 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 we're, if we're talking, like, 2014 Japan, maybe, 2010 Japan, yeah. maybe a little bit more yeah, of, like, yeah. a little bit. But I don't think Japan has um, enough to beat Germany or Spain. And then Costa Rica, like I said, I don't want a, another 2014 Costa Rica. I hope this is just a regular, a regular, <laughs> regular Costa Rica. Guys, come on. Just have a nice tournament. You know, draw some games. Yeah, just, like, please don't. Give Spain a win. <laughs> please <laughs> don't. Take some points don't. off Germany. <laughs> and that that's perfect. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Take points off Germany, points not off Spain, Germany. please. And uh, right. yeah, all right. So all I'm right. gonna I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to go with you in this one, Gabe. I think I think Spain could win this, win this group. And uh, yeah, obviously Germany second. I think it'd be a really big upset if either of those two teams don't make it out. Group F. It's a fun group again. I like I like these groups, man. They just get me excited. I like looking at these teams, just thinking about the matchups. I know Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. Um, I think obviously Belgium is gonna make this out first. I Belgium's think there's no team doubt. Belgium doesn't look as good. No I disagree. More, man. I disagree. Belgium, bro. What? I don't know. I 100 disagree. I think, so who are you saying I don't disagree though? I because think, no, I disagree. I, I I strongly disagree. I think Croatia is gonna make it first, and and then Belgium second. Um, but I don't know. I kind of I kind of feel like Morocco might come in second. Morocco. Over Morocco. For what were you? Because Hakimi? Is that one? <laughs> Hakimi. Hakimi. And no, Ziyech. I just, right? just kind of want to... Yeah, I mean, Hakimi, Ziyech, uh, Munir. Munir's... Yeah, uh, uh, that's true, yeah. They, they have quality. They have, I, yeah, I they, they have a pretty decent squad. I, I just feel like... I feel like they might surprise. You know, I kind of want to switch it up instead of just going for all the strong teams. I feel like... Croatia definitely is going to be number one. They're going to win the group. They're coming in. Wow. They, I mean, they made it to the final. They made it the to the one. final, and they're yeah, definitely was... salty about it. So, I definitely feel like they're going to come in and give it their all. So they're going to end up first, and I feel like Morocco is going to be second. Well, Croatia is always a solid squad. You can never, like, um, you, you can never, like, discount Croatia because they always have quality. Yeah, I mean, Modric. I mean, Modric yeah, I mean, is, like, what, 37, 36? No, no, no. He's, he's, like, 33, bro. No, he's, like, 37. No, nah, bro, look up Modric's age, bro. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> look bro, look up Modric's age. He's 37. He is 37? Yo, Modric Damn. is 37 what? years old, bro. That's bro. what I'm saying. 
So Modric is 37. Just think about that, bro. He's 37 and he's playing like he's like 25. Oh, because, bro. bro, I didn't think about this. He he kind of popped off late. Like he he only started getting good. Like I mean, he had quality, but no. But he started getting a little bit more recognized. Yo, remember like 27 when he went to Madrid? No, 26. When he went to Madrid, bro, he, he was, was voted, considered a flop. He he was voted the worst signing in La Liga yeah. when he went wow. to Madrid. And that's now, interesting. Bro, now he's, now he's, he's incredible. Now he's world, I mean, he's easy one of the best Malone, midfielders. Yeah, of all time. Malone, but that's a that's a that's a topic for another video. We can oh, get yeah. into that best midfielders. Steven, yeah. Steven Gerrard. Um, <laughs> but anyway, Liverpool fan. Yeah, yeah, Tori too. Yeah, I, 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 I love Yaya. Anyway, back to the group. Uh, Gabe, prediction for Group F. Um, I'm gonna say Belgium first because even though. I'm just so disappointed in Belgium because I feel like Belgium could have won the World Cup like in the last one in 2014 they could have won it because they have so much talent. I mean De Bruyne, uh, well Hazard isn't hasn't been around. Hazard, Hazard kind of fell off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Hazard he was definitely much better in the those, last one. Those, um, those Salah debates, bro. Lukaku, um, I mean, he's also kind of falling. Yeah, Carrasco. You know what? Carrasco. You know what? I think after what you guys said, um, you guys are making good points because I I think Belgium. They're kind of losing their. I think they're kind of like yeah. what Spain was in 2014, where like 2010 they had an amazing squad, won the World Cup, had everything. Tw- you know, 2008, 2012. But then once they started getting to like 2014, like you know, Spain started getting, the players started getting older. Mm. They didn't start giving the same kind the of desire, energy. Because I mean, think about it, bro. You win a World Cup and a Euro. Right, right, right. You know what so I mean? I so think, that's it. Like, I we think, did it. I think the same thing is happening with Belgium. Um, Except even they though, didn't win anything. Right? <laughs> they they win. Won, no, but they've, but they've had quality. They've had quality, yeah. A lot of quality. Like, if you have De Bruyne in your team, you are guaranteed to win games. But thinking about it, like, De Bruyne can only do so much. His passes are amazing, but if you have players who can't finish it. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen, like, Man City comps of De Bruyne passes. Yeah, but and that's because they have Holland. Yeah, no, Ooh. but I was going to say, you <laughs> see, you see like, Sterling and Jesus missing unbelievably yeah. good passes from, from um, De Bruyne. And so I, th- I think for that reason, like, as much as I love De Bruyne, and I think he's such a fantastic player, easily the best midfielder in the world right now. Um, I mean, apart from Valverde, maybe. But anyway, I think that... Even with his quality, does the does Belgium have those players who can finish games off, who can defend well? I mean, I mean they they do, but yeah, I, th- I think going back to what you guys said, I just think they're they're not really they they had their chance in 2014, 2018, they they sold pretty yeah. much. So I think this is it for yeah, them. I agree. I'm gonna have to go um, Croatia first and Canada second. I think Canada will make it out. Canada. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we didn't speak much about Canada. Yeah, Canada. I mean, the only player, of course, Davies. Davies, Everyone talks about, but um, but I don't think he's he's good enough to carry a whole team. Who's their striker, bro? He plays for. um, I don't think he's good enough to carry a whole team past this stage. I think I think think Canada will definitely surprise some. Like I think I think maybe Canada could either tie or beat one of either Croatia or Belgium. I'm gonna say Canada is gonna stun Belgium. One zero win. Yeah. Maybe that could. And we'll come back to that. And we'll see. But I feel like Canada's gonna Canada is going to Canada, Canada four one win. I against say Belgium. I say Croatia first, <laughs> Croatia first, and Belgium second. That's what I'm putting. Croatia first, Belgium second. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm gonna say Croatia first, Canada second. I'm Davies, say- and then you they have quality, man. I'm um let me see. Damn, I forget who their striker is. Canada, they have a really good striker. He plays for um Lille, Lille in French. I ever say it? Lille, Lille. Yeah, Jonathan David. Fan- oh, yeah, Great Jonathan player. David. Jonathan yeah, David. Yeah. He's really good. So I think Davies is like, listen, maybe at some at some points, was he a little bit overrated during, during I, I, I don't know you guys remember during uh, quarantine when, um, when, when Byron beat Barcelona. You remember that? But not, not, not to bring it up, bro. But, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. And everyone was like, I, cause I remember that. Everyone, everyone knows how I'm reactionary the, the, the soccer world can be when, when, when yeah. a player does good. It's like, oh, he's the best player in the world. But yeah. no, nah, Davies has quality. Um, Canada have quality. And I, I, I would just like to see them go through. So for that reason, I'm Canada first, Croatia second. All right. Belgium again. All right. Now, time for the best group. My favorite group, the group that I will try to watch every game from. The easiest the group. group, bro. For, nah. Well, for Brazil. Nah, bro, no. I don't think so, You're bro. You're a casual, bro. You're a casual. I think Serbia's going to bring the fight. Serbia is... Serbia is... No, okay. Well, Serbia got really good players. Switzerland always puts up a fight as well. Switzerland, at least against Spain, 
and we got always um, bother Spain so much. Like it's always a hard time for Spain to beat Switzerland. So, but I mean, we're talking about Brazil, and Brazil is honestly yeah. the scariest team. Like if I was any of these teams, I would be af- yeah. absolutely terrified to go against Brazil. I mean, their squad is absolutely packed, Amazing, bro. Yeah. Like packed, like. Like to the gills, like just look at their three goalies. Usually, like in World yeah, Cup squads, yeah. it's like all right, the first goalie is always like the star, the main guy. The second one, the third or one's kind of like the goalie's not even that good. Like sometimes they have like a random goalie for their country. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Like Brazil's go- even just the goalies, like yeah, Ederson, Allison, and Weverton. Weverton, yeah. Like I don't know if I said that too Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> like those are all three incredible uh, world class, yeah, world class. And, and having the like not like no bias. Allison is the best goalkeeper in the world right now. His his performances are insane. Like I'm not even trying to guess. I swear to God, bro. I, Liber- I'm not I'm not Liber- being biased. A Liverpool fan. No, 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 no. I'm not I'm not being biased right now. I would say this for anybody. Like 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 what I said for Kevin De Bruyne, best, best midfielder in the world, Valverde. Even though Madrid spanked us every year in the Champions League. I I always give props to players. Allison is the best goalkeeper in the world right now. So having him or like whatever you think, having an inform Allison like for this Brazil team is is so so good for them. Deadly. 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 Honestly, and then I mean their defenders and their midfield and their bro the up their attack, the, yeah. the the the, the striker. I, I heard that um their fullbacks their fullbacks are a little bit they're weak. They're a little they're a little weak. And yeah. I was going to say before about what you said about bringing in um um uh well who uh, Gota bringing Gota they brought in uh, Dani Alves. Dani Alves. Oh, yeah, Dani Alves yeah. Who's, nah, but Dani Alves is still good, bro. He's yeah. still not I mean obviously not as good bro, as like you young Remember Dani his Alves, but his performances were Barca. He was he was he was he was he was, he was lost. He always coming clutch. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, so, no, like, no, I'm I'm talking about when he went back. Not 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 before. No, now, even when he came back, he he actually helped Barcelona a lot. He did? This and this and this uh like last season, he actually like they wanted him to stay for this season as well, like one more season. But I think um I don't know what happened. I think he just left to Brazil again or something well, or something like that. But he's he's not for being play. a 30, I think 38-year-old, 39. 38, 39. For yeah. for being 38, 39, he's still definitely I wouldn't start him. But he's a he, he's definitely like a super sub. Like There's no Marcelo too. Well, not I, yeah. Oh yeah, no Marcelo. There's no Marcelo. I, I Marcelo has I lost. Yeah, a lot I wouldn't of call him a super sub either, man. I think they brought him in for the experience. for Danny Alves. Yeah. To have him in the locker room, to have an experienced player that players right. you go up and talk to, and I mean, he, uh, he's yeah, played it, in four World Cups, man. That's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> If there's anyone to talk to, is him. It's Danny like, Alves, yeah, right for confidence for everything. So I mean, yeah. that's what he did for Barcelona. He gave them more confidence. He gave them. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So then of course Neymar. What do you guys think about Neymar coming into this oh, World man. Cup? I think you he's think old. fire. You think, I think you he's think he's good? Be great. Yeah. I don't know, Neymar man. So much, bro. I think he's older. I think he's more mature. You know, he's yeah, not. He's not about that like showboating. He just wants to, yeah. you know, get in there and do his job. Yep. All right. And get playing job, with right. playing with the playing with Mbappe and Messi. That just I feel like that. Can only take your your game up a level. Yeah, and I mean, despite it has listen, to. It should despite them falling short in the uh, the Champions League, um, that that obviously the the, the the year they made it to the final and then they lost to Bayern, the COVID year. Remember that? Yeah. Um, listen, they're they're still. I mean, come on, like no, yeah, Neymar. And you see his um, you see his goals, you see his goal contributions, you see his runs that he makes. And even just the past weekend, you 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 guys saw the run he made the pass to Mbappe, and Mbappe yeah, missed yeah. it. Yeah, 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 and Bobby yeah. missed that no, clear, that. dude. Yeah, it was but regardless, incredible. there's not there's not much we have to say about Neymar. Obviously, everyone knows that he is top three, without a shadow of a doubt, if uh, not all time. But that's again, that's debatable. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and then uh, Cameroon. What do we think about Cameroon? Cameroon, they look decent. I mean, it's it, it's one of those teams that. You'd look at them and be like, I don't see them getting out, but I see them causing problems for for, yeah. the, for the teams in the group. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. They're gonna make some teams lose points. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So, yeah, I mean, and then again, going to Serbia. I, also, a little bit of history: Serbia versus Switzerland. So, um, the two uh, Swiss players, Shaka and um, Shakiri. Shakiri, yeah, you, you know, you know about this? Um, they're uh, Al- Albanian. Oh, and yeah. like the I last the last that, time yeah. they they played each other, I think it was uh, in the last World Cup. They did the uh, the uh, like Albanian like celebration against mm-hmm. Serbia. And I don't know, like I I know a Serbian dude, man, pit, had to piss off an entire country. So Serbians like oh wait, like is that a thing? Oh, wait, so explain that. Like, so basically, Albania and Serbia have mad beef. Like they oh, they okay, they, okay, they, okay. they don't like each other that much. 
Well, I again, I'm not like, like I, I don't know about geopolitical shit, but I just know that they don't, <laughs> we're they don't not like a each politics other. channel. We're, don't we're shoot politics. us in the comments. But, but regardless, I know like all 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 the Serbians that I talk to, they they are just dying for this for this rematch, and they wanted to like they want to destroy. Oh, that's Switzerland. exciting then. So I didn't that's know that. Be but now that I game. know that, I want to yeah, watch this. Now. That's gonna be a great game. Uh, Serbia versus Brazil is gonna be a great game. Yeah, I think Serbia um, can surprise for sure because nah, Serbia has a lot sticking. of quality. Yeah, I, I'm definitely sticking with Brazil one, Serbia two. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah not, I agree with that one hundred. I mean, I would, if this was any other team apart from Brazil or Argentina in this group, I would say Serbia finishes first. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously Brazil just have so much quality that they, yeah. they are going to finish first. I think I can say that with confidence. Um, as pretty much else would anyone else would say, but yeah, I mean, I think this is a pretty easy group to 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 say. You have two very clear cut teams who have a lot of quality. So. Yeah, Brazil first, Serbia second for yep, me. I agree with that. Brazil first, Serbia second. All right, Group H. Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. What do we think? Portugal and Uruguay. Um, South Korea, without Sun, I don't think they're getting far. Yeah, 100%. Ghana, um, I don't know. I just... Ghana always causes some trouble sometimes, but yeah, in a group like Portugal, Uruguay... They're uh, two very solid teams. Yeah, two teams. very solid teams, yeah. And we're going we're gonna to see... Um, Nunez's first World Cup. There's a lot of first World Cup. We have Valverde, Nunez. Um, so those are the, those are two very talented players um, for for Uruguay. I think Uruguay are going to shock a lot of people with their performances, and obviously Portugal. You know, despite Ronaldo, everything that's recently been going on around, around him, he's obviously still like a fantastic player. So of course, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with Uruguay first. Portugal second. Wow, you're right like, first. I mean, yeah. they do have a lot of talent, though. Yeah. Right? Um, a lot of young talent, new talent. Um, I love Darwin Nunez. I love uh, Valverde. He's been having yeah, a Valverde's really good crazy. season. Yeah, he's. So I think yeah. Um, but I, I'm I'm still gonna say Portugal first and Uruguay second. Okay. All right. What about you, Brian? Uh, I'm saying Portugal first, Uruguay second. Yeah, I agree with yeah. you. I think this about wraps it up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I think this about wraps it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I think this wraps it up for the group stage predictions. Um, we'll see you next week. Um, this please is comment, like, subscribe. Guys, um, please like our videos. We're struggling financially. We really <laughs> yeah, need the money. Comment down below if you guys agree with us or if you guys have different opinions. Um, we'll be back next week with the round of 16, right? Oh. Make sure you follow all our socials. They're going to be linked down in the description. In the description. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next Hope week. Hope you guys have a good Peace day. And drink, drink water. Drink water. Don't forget. Don't mind why.